Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing extremely well. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this deep brown smoky eye which will suit absolutely anyone and how to cream contour. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's jump right into it. So the first thing I'm doing is taking this iconic London primer and applying this all over my face mainly focusing it on my cheeks, nose and my forehead and just a little bit on my chin. And you want to make sure that you really rub that into your face so your skin soaks it all up. Next I'm taking my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and applying this all over my eyes as a base for my eyeshadow. For today's look I'm going to be taking the Me Matte Trimoni Palette by The Balm and I'm first starting off by taking this really light brown shade from the palette and applying this to my crease with a fluffy blending brush. You want to make sure that you blend that in really well, make sure there are no harsh lines and just by using windshield wiper motions, just really buff that in. Next I'm taking this warmer brown shade and applying this more so in my sockets and blending that out into my crease using windshield wipe motions. We want to make sure that these colours blend in together smoothly. Next I'm taking this deep brown shade and applying this into my outer corner, blending it into my socket and blending it from my socket to my crease as well, making sure that it all just blends it together smoothly and there are no harsh lines because that's very important. And I'm taking a bigger fluffy brush make, to make sure that it is all blending together smoothly. I'm taking that same shade and applying it all over my lid and as well blending it through. Blending is key to a perfect smoky eye so you want to make sure that you are really really making those colours melt in with each other. So I took the black eyeshadow from that palette and I'm applying it to my lash line and just blending it out with a really small brush. I believe this one's by Zoeva. But yeah, kind of creating a type of smoky liner with that black eyeshadow, tracing my lash line and kind of taking it out. Next, I'm just wiping off the fallout with a makeup wipe. I decided to go back in with that deep brown shade and just add a little bit more of it to my socket. I really wanted to bring the colour up a little bit more, so I added a little bit more of that and then added a little bit of the warm brown shade with the bigger fluffy brush and made sure that it all just blended smoothly because I don't like it when the darker colour looks a bit choppy. I also didn't add anything onto my brow bone because I just didn't really want to apply anything there for this look. But next I am creating a winged liner using my Stila Stay All Day liquid liner pen. I always start from the middle winging, wing it out and then move back inwards. You want to make sure that that wing is perfectly even and yeah. Next I'm taking my concealer brush with a bit of concealer and just cleaning up the edge of that wing and I'm curling my lashes and applying some mascara. I'm not going to apply my lashes just yet, I'm going to leave that till the end. Moving on to my face, I'm, for, I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and mixing it with some of the Cover FX highlighter drops. I'll leave the shade of that down below because I can't remember it off the top of my head. But I'm just mixing those two together and applying them all over my face with a synthetic brush. And once I've applied it with the brush, I'm actually going to take my Beauty Blender and just press it into my skin. So make sure that the foundation is pressed in well and there are no streaks or anything like that. Taking my cream contour palette by Iconic London, I'm taking that middle contour shade and using it to contour my face. So I'm applying this into the holes of my cheekbones, around my forehead and below my jawline. And I'm applying this quite generously because I do want quite a deep contour. From that same palette, I'm taking the first highlight shade and using this to highlight the points of my face. So I'm applying this below my contour to cut the contour and moving this below my lips and onto my chin, applying quite a generous amount. I'm also going to apply this to my forehead and I also applied that to my cupid's bow. 
But next I'm taking, from the same palette, the middle highlight shade, which is more of like a yellowy banana shade, and I'm applying this directly under my eyes, quite generously. And I'm going to take the Iconic London Oval Brush, and I'm going to use this to blend that all out together. So I'm going to start off by blending out that cheek contour, and I'm going to blend it in with the bottom highlight. So I'm not really like doing them separately, but I'm kind of blending them all in together. So I'm going to continue doing that all over my face, except for my under eyes. So I'm doing my forehead and my chin and the other side of my face, but I'm going to leave my under eyes because I blend that out with a damp beauty blender. So taking my damp beauty blender, I'm going to use that to press in and blend out that highlight underneath my eyes. So I prefer to do my under eyes with a damp beauty blender because I just find that under my eyes always need a little bit more hydration and find that doing this makes it a little bit more hydrated as I just mentioned and yeah. So I want to take that all over the rest of my face just to make sure everything is well blended. Next, I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I am baking my under eyes. So I'm applying this quite generously underneath my eyes and I'm also using this to cut my contour. So I'm applying this just below my contour. Taking the deep brown shadow from that same palette, I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. And I'm going to use, I'm going to mix those two brown shades that I used in my socket and my crease and use those to blend out that brown shade. I'm also taking a little bit of the black and applying this more so to the outer corner of my lower lash line. For lips, I'm first aligning my lips with this lip liner by The Balm. I don't really remember the shade of it, but I will leave it down below. And I'm also drawing a few lines in my lips to kind of contour the, my lips and make them look a little bit plumper. And the lip colour I'm using is a Hydra Matte by Gerard Cosmetics and I'll also leave the name of the shade of that down below. Moving back onto the face, I'm taking the Iconic London Powder Contour Palette and using the middle highlight shade to just dust off the Laura Mercier powder I had underneath my eyes and I'm also using it to dust off the powder from underneath my contour and my chin and just to blend that all together and then I'm taking the darkest contour shade from that palette and just contouring in the hollows of my cheekbones and just buffing that out. I didn't really contour anywhere else because I felt like the cream contour was enough but yeah I'm then going to take the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics palette and I'm taking, I think this was the shade Pample Mousse and applied this to my cheeks and I applied a little bit too much so I just grabbed my beauty blender and just patted over that just to get rid of a little bit of that blush. I mixed Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop and apply those to the apples, oh, sorry not the apples, <laughs> the tops of my cheekbones and also my forehead and temples and then I applied my lashes which were the Athena Lashes by Iris Beauty and that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below, like if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye guys!